All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Ultramarine uh, Centurion Devastators. So uh, here's the partially assembled guys. I painted them up with uh, Army Painter blue and silver sprays and uh, left the heads, shoulder pads um, off and uh, did the, uh, the legs sort of was one assembly and the torso is another. So I'm painting the um, lead belcher here on the silver bits. And uh, so I'll show you these uh, as four times speed videos. And I've got a couple of pictures sort of in between steps, a couple of the steps anyways, just to show you some of the stuff that I did off camera because I don't do every single thing here. Um, as well, at the very end of the video, I'll show you uh, sort of the typical uh, painting scheme that I, I do here, as well as some still images. And those will be available on my blog as well, which is uh, linked in the description below. So I'm just painting on the silver bits here. Um, painting uh, those on, trying to keep off the blue areas so I don't have to touch that up later. And uh, here you go with the final uh, silver bits everywhere and the legs as well. Okay, so that's the assemblies kind of painted up. Now I've got to do the McCraig blue on the legs here. Now you don't see a lot of this after the armor go, plates go on in the front of the legs, but the back of the legs, this will be a little bit visible as well. So I'm going to paint those up. Um, trying to stay off the silver parts so I don't have to touch that up later. And uh, yeah, I left those panels sort of on the outside of the armor as silver, figuring that they're kind of uh, armor plating on top of the armor plating. And uh, there you go. So uh, doing these as partial assemblies just helps speed things up. Uh, the fronts of the legs, you won't see any of that with those uh, armor plates on the front there. Uh, doing Abaddon black on the guns. So these uh, grav guns here, kind of doing the main areas with black. Um, I painted the silver already. I find that silver can be a bit messy, so that's why I like to paint the black on top of that. And you just want to make sure this is a nice even coat um, that covers up any of the, uh, the previous steps and uh, stays within the lines. Okay, next up will be, um, what are we doing next here? Some more. Okay, the gray. So I'm doing these on the shoulder pads. So this is just the, the tops of the shoulders where this... Uh, new centurion symbol kind of like a crux terminus and uh, just doing it with the uh, basic gray there and i'm going to do a, um, a shade with a sepia wash just so it doesn't look quite as dark as everything else um, and a bit more of a brownish tone you using red on the sergeant's helmet here um, as well as any of the purity seals which there's not too many of them on these models um, so this is just this centurion type helmet okay newland oil on all the silver areas so nice liberal wash here just to get uh, the silver looking a bit more realistic looking as well um, giving a bit of a black outline to anything that uh, contrasts with the blue for example those chains there and these um, piston whatever reinforcement things around the neck and on the arms as well and the backpack with the uh, smokestacks um, using uh, Agrax Earthshade here on all the gold areas as well as the uh, parchment and the red bits as well just to do that all in one nice quick step. And uh, there you go. So that's all the the base colors and shades and uh, you can see I've done the bases up as well and now on from now on it's just going to be doing highlights and uh, bringing up the tones. So that, uh, that helps um, get me there. Uh, those base colors and shades kind of that's the majority of the work all this stuff here goes pretty quick so it's painting up the the gold on the highlighted areas trying to stay away from the the crevices and uh, just trying to get the right amount of paint on the brush so that when i do kind of an overbrush here with the side the edge of the brush it doesn't flow into any of the cracks uh calgar blue painting this on uh kind of doing a halo around the edge of the armor uh shoulder pads there which i've glued on and um around all the edges of the the armor here not getting every single edge but just trying to get a chunk of them so that um, this thing looks like i've actually highlighted it you don't have to worry about some of the things that you can't see once it's all assembled so i'm just worried about the uh, kind of the more prominent areas and of course the the fists being one of them even though these are not power fists um, which they kind of look like they should be but uh, these guys i think are going to suck in close combat so Try to avoid that. Okay, um, now I'm going to move over to doing some more silver highlighting. So again, uh, same with the gold idea here. Just trying to get the right amount of paint on the brush so that I can kind of do a, a bit of an overbrush 
sort of a thing without it having to uh, the paint flowing anywhere so just painting on specific areas uh, so got some contrasting silver bits on the grav guns there um, the hoses on the back and some of the uh, the details on the you know the decorative bits on the chains there and uh, now we're going to move over to the bases so the uh, bases I glued on some rocks and sand uh, before I did a base coat and just kind of doing a dry brush type of a highlight on those stones there and then I'll do um, a bit of a dry brush with Tyrant Skull on the sand just to kind of bring it together and then at the end um, which I don't show I'll uh, use a bit of white glue and uh, put some static grass you know blocks uh, of that here and there just to cover up maybe some areas I made mistakes or just to add a bit more character to it. Uh, okay, using Caliban Green on the grav gun uh, areas there. And so I'm going to kind of do a reverse highlight, kind of like a plasma gun sort of a look with all of those uh, things. And uh, the way I do that is watering down my highlight colors and painting those in the, um, in the, the deep crevices there. And uh, so Warpstone Glow is next. And so kind of watering it down to the state where it's kind of like a wash and uh, using this to kind of have a glow in uh, in from the inside and I'm doing all the lenses uh, the typical way of doing the highlights towards the lower edge and uh, black up the top with a little bit of a white speck where the, uh, the reflection would be so some of the some of the grav gun looks here didn't turn out the greatest um, but uh, I.e. the one that I show here, the sergeant, I get too much of this moot green in there. You want way less of that. And so I, I off camera, I do touch up the Caliban green and do a touch of uh, Abaddon black just on the, the center of the flat areas, just so it looks like it's glowing the bright areas up from the inside out. And a bit of the lens there. And then I'll do um, the white on the the tops of the lenses here with white scar so just a nice little speck um, on the opposite side as the highlight and that helps fool the eye into thinking that there's a, a reflection there okay now highlighting up the shoulder pads uh, so trying to get this dawnstone this is the medium or the lighter gray but not the lightest I'm painting out on all the flat surfaces and trying to avoid any of the crevice areas there and uh, then I'll just use the highest highlight that I'm going to do here on any of the edges. So I don't highlight up too far. You could go one step further with maybe a white edging highlight, but I'd stop at the administratum gray. Um, so again, so depending on how extreme you like your highlights and stuff like that, uh, will determine how far you want to go with each of these levels of highlights. And uh, anybody who's familiar with my videos might have noticed that you didn't see any of the, uh, the painting lists uh, shown here. Um, that's going to be at the end of this video as well as on my blog. I figure if you've been watching my videos of these Ultramarines for long enough now, you probably don't need to see another uh, set of that because it's all the same paints on the same areas. So you've probably figured it out by now. So um, yeah, just doing some final highlights with the silvers here. And, oh, actually, this is still the, the grays. Um, a Thunderhawk blue here for the edge, final edges. And, again, I don't do every single edge here, just kind of the main ones to give the impression from a, you know, from a display cabinet or tabletop sort of a level. And, uh, yeah, move on from there. Um, Runefang Steel, again, for some final high, uh, silver highlights here. Just trying to get the main areas that would be the most obvious uh, just to help bring those out just a touch. You don't really notice the difference I find with the, the highest highlights, um, but uh, it does help a touch. And same with the golds, uh, using this uh, bright gold. This one isn't very opaque, so it's hard to tell, uh, but just trying to get some of the edge, edge highlights of things. So these last highlights go very, very fast, just trying to get little bits of impressions here and there. And we're almost wrapped up, so um, it's on to the, uh, the final details. So that'll be the parchment with the Yushab de Bone. Um, not a lot of those. There's a couple of purity seals here and there, and a couple little scrolls on the armor. And uh, as you can see, once I got past some of the, the main base coats, I glued everything else together, um, and I've got some of the static grass on there. So I find that uh, that helps speed up some of the steps once you're, uh, once you're close to the end. 
you don't need to have um, all the highlights into the, all the deepest areas because you're not going to see those anyways. And I do forget to put the, uh, the scroll work on these. Okay, so this is the, uh, the final uh, painting scheme here as well as some still images. Uh, be sure to check out my blog for, uh, for these if you want to use these as reference and uh, check out some of my other tutorials. And if you have any comments about other things you'd like to see, uh, check those, uh, leave those in the comments here on Google Plus, YouTube, or over at Blogger, um, and I check all those, try to respond to those as best I can. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you next time.